All right, welcome back. Now we are at a stage that once we have gone from this to this by making all those editing changes, we are going to see a couple of things that happen after the editing process has completed. Okay, this is going to involve how to sync the settings of this particular image, whatever we did with the editing, onto other images. Maybe if I clicked more shots of this room, and I don't want to go through the editing process all over again and just sync it to those shots. We're going to see that. We're going to see things like how to put a watermark, how to export it, how to sync it with other software on our desktop like Lightroom and all to improve our workflow. But let's start by batch editing this. So this is called as batch editing. When you have a group of photos, you edit one of them and then you sync the settings from one to another. This is very, very easy to do. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click or tap on this, these three dots on the right, okay, just on the top right. And then I'm going to hit so this, there are two ways, by the way, this can be done, okay? One is by creating a preset, which I'm going to show you in the second edit in this course, okay? In the next edit. It will just make more sense there. Right now, the usual way is to just tap copy settings, okay? And then it's going to ask you which of the settings do you want to copy. Usually, we don't select crop because crop is going to differ from image to image. So I have a couple of other images of the same room, okay? So I don't obviously want to crop it in the same way. We also don't want to use heal the same way, okay, because healing, remember we use just in the tiny area to remove the distraction. You don't want to use that. Again, masking is something you don't want to use. Light, yes, because that is going to apply to the tone, exposure, contrast, all those changes that we made. Color, yes, because they are short under similar light and color. So these two options will apply. Effects also, detail also, because we again want to sharpen those areas even though the masking was applied, but we still, even the other shots, want to sharpen those areas with a good texture, okay? And again, optics also because it was clicked with the same lens. Now, I can try to enable geometry here, but geometry is something you have to be slightly careful with, okay? We did use geometry a lot in this particular image. You can try to do it because ultimately, it's the same room, it's the same lens, but this is a setting I actually like to leave it out from the sync set, okay? And if required, we just do this with one click, okay? So I'm just gonna hit settings copied. And then what you have to do is you have to, again now, go back to your library. So I'm gonna hit back, okay? It's gonna show me my other two images that I have here, okay? So you can see here that the first two images that you see, these are the images that I've just imported right now. And you can see it's, it's of the same room. So all I have to now do is just just go on top here and see these three dots, okay? And just click on or tap on select. This will enable you to, you know, just pick out or select multiple images together. So we need to select this and we need to select this, this one, okay? You can also long press and select. And now that we have this selected, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap on, again, go to those three dots and hit paste settings. So it's going to just take some time and it's going to apply the changes to those settings. So you can see the exact same changes have been applied. So let's open one of these images and let's see. Right, you can see here. Now I don't at least have to go through all the panels. So it's not always going to work absolutely seamlessly that yes, you just paste the settings and it's done. No, that is the ideal scenario. But there are going to be a lot of things which don't apply like crop and geometry and all these things. Okay. So if you didn't make any changes to those things, and you only make changes to the color, the exposure, and all these things, then this can just be done with one step also. But a lot of times, you'll actually come back, have to open this image, and at least make those changes. For example, now, I can crop this, and you know, let's say straighten this, just like you've seen before, okay? Maybe quickly go to geometry, and we can just say this time, let's just do, be quick, okay? Let's just say auto. And now, this is done, okay? Similarly, I can go back to this image. Also, this image is going to demonstrate another problem that might come when you copy the settings, which is for each image, the settings may not be perfect. For example, here you can see that it does seem a bit overexposed, right? So no problem. You always still have individual control on these things. So maybe here I can turn down the exposure a bit, okay? And now do the same things. Go to crop, straighten this quickly. And finally, check mark and quickly go to geometry. Now, if you did use in geometry, you only used upright and auto, 
Okay, you can even select geometry during the sync settings. But remember, in the first image, because I was teaching you the whole thing, we made a lot of changes, and they were particularly in regards to that image, probably which may not have applied to this image. But if you are only doing this, you could have select geometry also. Okay, so you can see here, we're gonna we're getting some white edges. We're gonna hit constraint cop, and boom, this is also done. So now we've got all the three images synced in no time at all. So just imagine you've done a shoot of 20 shots. This would just make it so, so quick. And finally, the last step is going to be we are going to export these photographs. So let's see how to do that.